Have you ever wondered how you can grow plants without seeds? Well, there's a fascinating world out there that allows you to do exactly that. It's called plant propagation. Now, plant propagation is a natural wonder that involves creating new plants from a variety of sources, cuttings, bulbs, and other plant parts. It's like nature's own version of a magic trick, transforming one plant into many. Our focus today, however, is propagation from cuttings. Imagine being able to take a snippet from your favorite plant and watch it flourish into a whole new plant on its own. No seeds required. It's like giving life to a plant clone. It's an exciting and rewarding process. And with a little patience and care, it's something anyone can do. So get ready to dive into the world of plant propagation, where you can multiply your favorite plants without a single seed. You might be asking, how does this process work scientifically? Well, let's dive into the captivating world of plant biology to find out. At the heart of propagation lie the meristematic cells. These cells are the unsung heroes of the plant world. They are undifferentiated, meaning they have the ability to become any type of cell the plant needs. This capacity is called cellular totipotency. Imagine you're an artist with a blank canvas. You have the power to create any masterpiece you envision. That's what these meristematic cells are like. They hold the potential to morph into root cells, stem cells, leaf cells, or even flower cells, depending on what the plant requires. Now, when you take a cutting from a plant, these meristematic cells jump into action. If the cutting is placed in water or moist soil, the cells at the cut site begin to differentiate. Some transform into root cells, developing root structures to absorb water and nutrients. Others form new stem and leaf cells to continue the plant's growth. But how do these cells know what to become? The answer lies in plant hormones, specifically auxins. These chemicals act as messengers, signaling the cells to start the process of differentiation. When a cutting is taken, the balance of auxins changes, triggering the cells at the cut site to form roots. Meanwhile, cytokinins, another type of plant hormone, promote shoot development. They counterbalance the auxins, ensuring that the plant doesn't just form roots, but also develops new shoots and leaves. This delicate balance between auxins and cytokinins is crucial for successful propagation. So, the next time you propagate a cutting, remember the unseen world of cellular differentiation at work. It's not just about sticking a stem in water and waiting for roots to appear. It's a complex dance of cells and hormones, all working together to create a new life. Isn't it fascinating how nature finds a way to thrive in the most unexpected ways? Now let's debunk some common misconceptions about plant propagation. Many believe that all plants can be grown from cuttings. While it's true that a variety of plants can be cloned this way, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Certain species simply don't respond well to this method. For instance, conifers and monocots, like orchids and grasses, can be quite tricky. Often called the mushroom of the gods, lion's mane has a long history of medicinal use. This popular nootropic has been shown to enhance focus and increase cognition, helping you feel more productive and accomplished. Research studies have also shown that lion's mane is neuroprotective, giving you peace of mind as you power through your day. Try Lion's Mane and experience the mental clarity and productivity boost you've been missing. Another widespread myth is that propagation is an instant process. It's not a magic trick. It's a natural process that requires time and patience. After you've planted your cutting, don't expect to see roots sprouting overnight. It might take weeks or even months before the first signs of life appear. So, don't lose heart if your cutting doesn't show immediate signs of growth. It's also important to remember that conditions matter. Just sticking a cutting in a pot of soil and hoping for the best won't cut it. Appropriate moisture, temperature, and light conditions are key. Remember, patience is a virtue, especially in the world of plant propagation. Now that we've got the basics down, it's time to learn how to propagate plants from cuttings. The first step in this green thumb adventure is choosing the right plant. Ideal candidates for propagation are healthy, disease-free plants that are not flowering. Spring is usually the best time for taking cuttings, as plants are in their growth phase and can recover quickly. Once you've selected your plant, it's time for the actual cutting. You'll need a sharp, sterile knife or pruning shears. Aim for a four to six inch cutting, snipping just below a leaf node. That's the little bump where a leaf or bud grows. Be sure to include at least three nodes on your cutting. Now let's prepare the cutting. Strip away the leaves from the lower half of the cutting. This encourages the plant to focus its energy on root growth rather than maintaining leaves. If you're working with a plant that has large leaves, consider cutting these in half to reduce moisture loss. Next, dip the cut end of your stem in a rooting hormone. This isn't absolutely necessary, but it can significantly boost your success rate. 
The hormone encourages the cutting to develop roots more quickly, giving it the best possible start in its new life. Now it's time to plant your cutting. Fill a pot with a mix of half perlite and half peat. Make a hole in the center with a pencil or your finger, then place the cutting in the hole and firm the soil around it. Next up, water your cutting. It's important to keep the soil moist, but not waterlogged. Overwatering can lead to rot, which is a surefire way to kill your new plant. Then, it's time to play the waiting game. Place your cutting in a warm, bright spot, but not in direct sunlight. Depending on the plant, roots should start to develop in two to six weeks. Once your cutting has roots, it's time to transplant it into a larger pot or out into your garden. Be gentle during this process. The new roots will be fragile. And the final step? Well, that's the most rewarding one. Watching your cutting grow into a full-size plant. Remember, patience is key in propagation. Not every cutting will take root, and that's okay. It's all part of the learning process. With these steps, you can turn one plant into many and fill your garden with greenery. Before we wrap up, here are some surprising facts about plant propagation that might blow your mind. Firstly, did you know that some plants can be propagated from just a leaf? That's right, a single leaf. Plants like the African violet and the jade plant can sprout new roots and grow into a whole new plant from just one leaf. It's like magic, but it's science. Now let's talk about the role of propagation in saving our planet. Endangered plant species are a serious concern. Deforestation, climate change, and human activity have led to a significant decrease in plant biodiversity. But here's where propagation comes into play. By cloning plants, we can protect these endangered species from extinction. We can recreate whole forests, rebuild ecosystems, and preserve plant species for future generations. Another fun fact is about the world's oldest cloned plant. It's a Norway spruce and it's over 9,500 years old. Its clones have been surviving and thriving since the last ice age, making it one of the oldest known trees on the planet. Lastly, propagation isn't just for the green-thumbed. With the right tools and a bit of patience, anyone can do it. It's a cost-effective and rewarding way to expand your garden and contribute to plant diversity. Amazing, isn't it? You'd be surprised by what a simple leaf or stem can do. So, are you ready to try your hand at plant propagation? We've journeyed through the fascinating world of plant propagation exploring the science behind it and dispelling some common misconceptions. The beauty of propagation is that it's a natural process, one that plants have been doing for millions of years. It's simple, it's affordable, and it's incredibly rewarding. Remember, you don't need seeds to start a garden. Take a cutting from a plant you love, provide it with the right conditions, and watch as it transforms into a new plant. It's a process that truly showcases the marvel of nature. And let's not forget the surprising facts we've uncovered. Who knew that some plants could regenerate from a single cell, or that the oldest cloned plant is over a thousand years old? These are testaments to the resilience and adaptability of plant life. But it's not just about the facts and figures. Propagation is a hands-on activity, a chance to connect with nature and grow something beautiful. It's also a learning journey, where every cutting, every leaf, every root offers a new lesson. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or a beginner, Propagation provides a unique opportunity to expand your plant collection and broaden your gardening skills. So go ahead, give it a shot. Experiment with different plants. Celebrate the successes and learn from the failures. In the world of propagation, every mistake is an opportunity to grow, quite literally. Remember, every green thumb starts with a single cutting. Happy planting. With 10 different mushroom species packed into the most delicious gummies you've ever tried, this bottle has it all, including favorites like maitake, shiitake, lion's mane, reishi, and cordyceps. You'll experience a powerful blend of beneficial compounds that support healthy cognition and increased energy levels. These gummies are of the highest quality and efficacy, making them the perfect choice for anyone looking to perform at their best. Designed for a productive lifestyle, it's the easiest way to include all the benefits of mushrooms in your day.